Lesson 1.15, Extra Practice, Missing Sums or Add-ins. We can complete a table of values and find missing add-ins or sums by following the given rule. Here we have a table and it says to add 2. That's the rule. So on this side we have a 3. That means we have to add 3 plus 2. Well that equals 5, doesn't it? So we put a 5 here. Here is the add-ins and that's the sum. We just follow that rule. 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. So an 8 goes here. 0 added 2. 0 plus 2 is a 2. See? Now look, it gave us the sum. So we had some number that we added 2 and we got a 7. Something plus 2 equals 7. Well, with these, we started with the first add-in and counted on. Now we can count backwards to go from the sum to the add-in. So we go from 7 to get to the 2. 7, then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. That's 5. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. So let's see if we can finish some tables of values by following the rules. Here it says to add 5. 2 plus 5 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 5 well, that's just one more than 2 plus 5, isn't it? So that's going to be one more than 7. It's going to be an 8. 8 plus 5. We can start with the 8 and count on. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 5 plus 5, that's a double. 5 plus 5 is 10, isn't it? 1 plus 5, that's a 6. So, all we had to do was go 1 plus 5, follow the rule, and write our answer. Now we've got add 8 as our rule. 3 plus 8, we start with the bigger number, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we have 5 and add 8. Start with the bigger number, 8, and add 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we have 2 and add 8. We start with the bigger number, 8, and add 2, 9, 10. 6 and add 8. We start with the bigger number, 8, and add 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 0 plus 8. Well, 0 plus 8 is still going to be 8, isn't it? All right. So let's try this one. It says to add 9. We have 4, and we're going to add 9. So we're going to start with the larger number 9, and then add 4. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we have 1 plus 9. Well, that's an easy one. That's 10. 10. Now we have 5 plus 9. We start with the larger number 9 and add 5. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we have 7 and add 9. We start with the larger number 9. And we can take 1 from the 7, can't we? And make that 9 a 10. And then that would become a 6. And 10 plus 6 is 16. We can do 3 plus 9 the same way. We give 1 of the 3 to the 9 and make a 10. The 3 becomes a 2. And 10 plus 2 is 12. Now it says to add the double. That means we have to add the same number. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 6 is 12. 3 plus 3 is 6. 
and 9 plus 9 is 18. We added the double. Now it says to add 2, but it's given us some missing add-ins on some side with the sum on the other. 6 plus 2 is 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 2 is 8, 9, 10. But now it says that we added 2 to some number and got a 3. We can count back 3, 2, 1. Now we've got a 7 and we have to add a 2, 7, 8, 9. Now it says our sum is a 4 and some number that had 2 added to it made the 4. Well, 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's a 2. So we can even fill in the missing add end on these tables of values, can't we? So I hope that was a good extra practice for you and showed you how to fill in these tables of values. And we just follow the rule and then write our answer. See? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.